Uh, so I, I received the, uh, the seed from the University of Wisconsin, Madison in 2001. Uh, they had theirs bloom in 2000 and they had uh, about a thousand fruit. So it started growing as a seed in 2001. It grew vegetatively every year, sending up a, a new leaf once every year, year and a half. And in 2008, it bloomed for the first time. And that was unexpected. I did not expect it to bloom in 2008. It was like, oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, it's blooming. <laughs> and uh, then after it, uh, it bloomed in 2008, it uh, sent up another leaf in 2009. And then it bloomed again in 2010 and uh, then bloomed a, a third time in 2012, and now this being 2014, I think it's going to bloom again. Definitely indications that this is a, an inflorescence and it's going to bloom. It'll bloom either tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, my best guess is uh, Saturday, uh, because I'm waiting for this last bract to fall away. And I've found through past experience that when this largest bract falls away, it will bloom in two days. If I come in tomorrow and I smell a little bit of an off odor in the greenhouse, uh, then I'll know that it's with, with, within one day of blooming. So if it uh, is, is going to bloom about two o'clock in the afternoon, early afternoon, this spathe, which is the uh, inverted skirt, will gradually start to loosen and uh, then it will gradually open up that afternoon and then by six o'clock in the evening the spade will be fully open. Then the spadix, which is this tall loaf-like structure, will start to produce its characteristic perfume of roadkill. And as this starts to produce its, its scent, the spadix will actually heat up to human body temperature. So when this is blooming, if you were to put your hand on the, the spadix, it will actually be warm to the touch. Uh, so the spathe remains open all night. The spadix starts producing its, uh, its perfume at about 6 p.m. and it is most potent around 10 o'clock and midnight and then the smell starts to gradually taper off as it finishes its uh, signaling. Best characteristic I can say is it smells like roadkill in a dumpster. And uh, the reason for that is it lives in the, the, uh, the tropical forests of Sumatra and it's an understory plant so it is surrounded by trees and shrubs and that so there's not a way to have a visual cue to get uh, animals and insects to come and pollinate it. So it instead uses an odor. And since it uses, a, uh, uses flies and carrion beetles to pollinate, it has to do something that will attract flies and carrion beetles. So the best way to do that is to smell like you're dead. And when it does send out its, its aroma, it is intense.